Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday. It's Monday morning. It's Monday morning with Merle and Patty. We're, we're tagging ourselves. Facebook's asking us questions. <laughs> we always follow directions. Yes, yes, ah. we do. So, how are you doing today? It's I, a lovely day. It's a beautiful day. Yes. It is a beautiful Monday yes. up at Lake Hollywood today where we walk every day. We saw a beautiful young buck deer. We saw a snake and we yes. helped him cross the road. Yes. We saw all sorts of beautiful critters and a bunch of bunnies running around. So yes. it's a good day. <laughs> we start out in the middle of Hollywood. It is. Um, and they were all having relationships. Let's, let's, let's make yes. this a weird consecutive, non-consecutive. <laughs> Talk it about works. Because okay. relationships. It was Mother's Day this weekend. Yes. So congratulations. Thank Happy Mother's you. Day to you. Thank Happy you. Mother I'm a fur mom, um, as many of us <laughs> out there are. So uh, Dora, Dora the cats didn't get me anything, but they said, they love me. <laughs> That's really um, kind of important. So we have an interesting, interesting um, topic. A, a topic today. The hero in your relationship is the one who you can keep his or her mouth shut when he or she is right. Ooh, that sounds heavy. What does that mean, Merle? It means a good relationship. Life is not about being right. It's about being caring, it's about keeping things smooth, it's about um, thinking in terms of, well, they talk about winning the war instead of the battle. Mm. But I, I, don't, I don't like a fighting kind of uh, analogy. So I'm stuck. <laughs> it is true. We, we are early in a very competitive society. We grow up playing competitive sports. You're competitive in school. Even our political systems are it's competitive, competitive, competitive. Um, love relationships or any relationship. What is, we need in this world that you just said is there is a place for competitive. I'm not arguing that. But not to leave out the biggest part of the world is about cooperative. Yes. Yeah. So, yes, we're talking about relationship, personal, private relationships, but the skills you learn in that relationship, you can take to the world because the world needs your cooperation. It doesn't need your competitiveness. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's not who's right and who's wrong in this of who was supposed to take out the trash or who said we were going to do this or didn't say we're going to go that. That's not on the schedule. It's And we just turn it into that. And I think it's partly the blame. But but it's your fault because we want to take give away the responsibility of something? No. No, I that's not think... it. <laughs> I think people just want to be right. <laughs> that is true. They just want to be right, and I think they just want to be right because they're worried that they're not right. And I think the you wouldn't care whether you're right or not, except yes, hello Karen, and hello Matthew. Matthew, and hello Elena. Uh, I, I think people wouldn't worry so much about being right all the time if they knew they didn't have to be right all the time. They don't have to be perfect. That actually, it's just like a good scientific. Uh, experiment. It's not about being right. It's about seeing the results. Right. So if you see the results and it's not working the way you want, then you change what you do. But that doesn't make you wrong. That makes you a scientist. Okay. <laughs> I like that. A scientist. Um, yeah. I And that really changes everything in a relationship. Because I know... Uh, my husband is a big old Leo, and he's one of those kind of want to be right kind of guys, and and he is very big at I am right and you are wrong, and I just I again I go back into the, also that blame thing because that's kind of where we go. It's like that doesn't matter. Where are we trying to get? Which movie right. are we trying to see? Right. Which movie is not? Whatever it is, and then right. that lets all that craziness go. Yes, all the craziness now. Yes, yes, I think it's. I think uh, I think that gets mixed up with I'm right and it's the truth. Well, if you if you ever catch your saying yourself saying, well, it's the truth, you know you're probably on the wrong track <laughs> because it's I, it's not about being right. It's not about it being the truth. It's 
it's about um it, it's about working with people. It's about cooperating. It's about seeing, well, where are they coming from? What are their needs? Mm -hmm. And it's not, and their needs are not just to prove you're wrong. Their needs are whatever they are, and they have nothing to do with you. I, I, I can't tell you, but this just brings into a conversation I had yesterday with someone I know that was just told that her boyfriend is not her boyfriend, that he has moved on. And, you know, every nice person in the world is not a person that's a good partner. Right. Right. And we get really stuck with all the nice things about this person. The nice things about these person isn't doesn't really matter, and if they don't connect with you, it isn't because you're not a nice person or a good person or a smart person or a beautiful person. It's just because every every relationship you have is not a love relationship, right? And it's not supposed to be. And the sooner you know the difference the better and easier it is for you to proceed. Right. So is this a friendship? And again, and we teach that in our singles class for women too, the difference of what is it you're looking for? What is it they're looking for? Matthew just brought up a really great thing. It is about compromise. You're a very wise young man, Matthew. And yes, Leo's are the life of the party. <laughs> are you a Leo? Um, dear friend for years and years, Facebook friends. Um, and it is about compromise, but I, we teach people that each, we were talking even earlier today about fantasy life. What our fantasy life, we turn a fantasy into reality. So all of a sudden something that never was, when it isn't there, we're sad we don't have it anymore. And we never we did. Never had it. We never did. It's like, you know, I'm in love with whoever the star of the moment is. You know, it might be the Brad Pitt and the George Clooney's and the, all that. And it's like. So, so the moral of the story is that it's not about being right and uh, 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 the difference. If somebody sees a different right from you, it's not something you're supposed to take personal. Yeah. That we all have our different perspective and vision and we're all at a different place in our life. So sometimes we cross paths, sometimes we walk down the path together. Sometimes we walk down the path together for a while, sometimes for longer. It's all, it is, it's it, all right. It's all right. It's Patrick all right. just said something most beautiful. Um, at, at his house, what it is, would you rather be right or would you rather be kind? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's like, I knew, that, that's the same as I told you so and I knew it was going to happen and all that. It's another form of being right. Um, and as Helena said, it's a beautiful question. And there's something just to be said. But again, if you keep talking, okay, even though I said, do you reconnect? You know, again, if you're, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. But there's not even anything, that, that argument, forget the right, you're moving forward. You're creating an environment. Yeah. And better to create an environment that's kind than an environment that's right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You're so cold. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's good to step back and try to see the real issue on the table and not just react with anger. Thank you, Helena. Yes, that is true. We have very wise watchers today, oh, Merle. Yes. We are very wise. Hi, Hillary. Yes. Hope all, all going well out in your world. Yes, that's um, true. So anyway, so we take that into all your relationships. Um, love relationships, friendship relationships, family relationships, and work relationships, uh, neighbor relationships. It's like, Nobody feels better when you said, I told you so, or I was right, or I knew it. It's just, let's move forward and begin to see what that end goal is, as was just wisely said. Yes. By someone other than us. <laughs> <laughs> um, and some of this stuff is sort of stuff we teach in our singles girls class, isn't it, Merle? Yes, indeed it is. It is, it is. Uh, I thought we would do a separate commercial, but why not tell the people right here and right now who are listening that we have a course that is starting June 2nd and uh, in Los Angeles, Hollywood Hills, single seeking 
unsuccessful. S single, successful, and seeking. If you have a life that you're happy enough with that you'd actually like to share it with somebody else and you'd like to figure out how to do it effectively without getting stuck with the wrong person. Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> or finding a relationship that doesn't go anywhere. Uh, we have some insights for you to discover. We have some exercises for you to do. We have some rituals for you to perform that will change your perspective, give you a little more self-confidence about what you actually do want, where you want to go with this, who would make the right partner for you, and how to find him. Yeah. And look at any destructive patterns that we all seem to have that we fall into and don't even realize it. Once you know they're there, that's half the bottle of battle of getting rid of them. So join us single ladies call her call me email her email me he direct message us we're easy to find bathroom walls across the <laughs> <laughs> pattynigri.com <laughs> merle m singer oh oh the, the dot com one relationship miracle worker dot com <laughs> okay. facebook instagram twitter linkedin yes we both have books we have both have books Okay. Since we're doing a commercial but We're here. doing a commercial. Yeah, we just do a baby commercial here. Buy our books. They're really good. Yes. <laughs> They're on Amazon. Talk to you later, people. Bye. See you next Monday. Where's the off? The off button's hidden. Well, can't we?